Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is April, I go by Ruby Rouge here on the YouTubes and today I have a review for you. Today's review is from Urban Decay. It's the Vice Lip Bonds Liquid Lipstick. I did receive these in PR, um, however, no strings attached. I could talk about them if I wanted to or not. I really appreciate that and I'm very thankful for the opportunity to try out the product. Well, let me, okay. I'm gonna do something really quick. I'm gonna set up a demo. I need to do these kind of thin like you would actually apply them on your lips. Um. Okay, it is 521 if you can see that. I don't know if it's coming up or not. Okay, so several years ago, I did go through and review all my whole entire lip collection. So I already have a very thorough review process. I thought that I would try these out, kind of put them into my Excel sheet and my review process and see where they land. The pop I feel like the popularity of liquid lipsticks kind of been on the downswing for a bit, but for me, like I still love liquid lips. I like a good, comfortable, long wearing liquid lip product or any kind of lip product. It never really goes out of style for me. Um, they can trend up and down in whichever way, but like I'm always going to be reaching for a quality lip product. So let's go ahead and critique these. The colors that I have, I have Shock Value, which is the neon pink. It's opaque, medium, and bright. It's this middle one. Um, this one seems to be pretty neutral in undertone. It might be leaning a bit into cool. Sometimes it's really hard to uh, tell undertones. It takes quite a bit of trial and error. This is from earlier, if you see, I have a pink here. <laughs> I didn't get it off all the way. Um, I tried to film this once before and then my memory card and yeah, all of that. So, One Strangers, this is Espresso Brown. It's opaque, it's dark. It seems pretty neutral as well. Um, and then solo player. This is lavender, purple, opaque, light, cool, cool toned for sure. This is definitely cool toned. And I have on Once Strangers today. So my thoughts on the colors. We have shock value. This is so bright. I mean, it's beautiful, but it's not quite right on my skin tone. I don't know if you can tell here on my hand. Um, it just, it really stands out. It's very contrasty to me. One Strangers, like I said, is my favorite in the group. It's what I have on. I think it actually looks pretty nice on me. Um, it's it, it's be perfect for like a fall night out, a fun look for me, or anytime I just want to feel a little bit bold. I think it looks good enough on me, at least in person, to wear just whenever I want to, to be honest. Um, but I can also, one thing I should note, you can share these out and make them like a stain. So you just put a little bit of gloss, pat your finger, pat it on with your finger, um, and they, they dry down and make a really, really, really nice stain, um, long wearing stain. So I, I, that's one of my favorite ways to wear liquid, all liquid lipsticks pretty much do that. Then solo player we have, it looks awful on me. <laughs> it makes my teeth so yellow. It does not flatter my complexion at all. It looks terrible. So I'm either gonna find something to mix this with or I might just pass it along with a friend or to a friend or family member who's interested because it's just terrible. Okay, talk about the application. So easy peasy lemon squeezy. It's advised to shake the bottle for about five seconds. So shake, 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 shake. I find it very satisfying actually, but then you are presented with this lovely doe foot applicator. Let's see if we can get a close up. I found it very simple to apply, a very easy, precise application. The viscosity of the product's also really nice. It's not super, it's a little bit thinner than some liquid lipsticks that I've tried, which I, I kind of like because a lot of times they get really thick and then they get kind of goopy and then you end up with a mess. So this is more of like, I've had to dip into it twice to actually get a full application a couple of times and I really appreciate that. Yeah, sorry, I got distracted. Okay, so we are now at 526. I can't remember, I think it's been about five minutes. And one thing I wanna do is I just wanna kinda of try to see, look at that. Now, I'm not pressing super duper hard on those, but they have set now, and they will continue to set and set and set. They continue to get, I wouldn't say harder, but um, even better. But I mean, look at my finger. Like, it was literally, I'm touching that. I'm rubbing on it. I don't know if you can tell. Like, I'm rubbing on those, and I'm not getting really any color. I got a little bit off on that one. 
on that top one when I was going for so long. But so cool. They said it's like they set up. I don't know if you can tell. Oh, sorry. Um, I don't know if you can tell, but they're still shiny. They set up, they stay shiny, but the color like really, really locks down. So when you, I'm a little bit nervous to try this. Yeah, when you take a drink on your cup, boom, look at that. So anyways, I, I just thought that was super cool. I wanted to show you the demo of that. Um, wear time, two plus hours. This will officially be the longest wearing lippy in my collection. I was really impressed. Honestly, three, four hours, it was still on. It was still looking pretty good, but somewhere between two and three hours, I just started to show a lot of wear on my inner lip and started to get that line of demarcation and I just I just really don't like that. So for me, I would want to take it off at about two hours and, and just reapply, but still that was like a long time. And like I even ate, I even ate a couple of times. I took a, took a few snacks and I was like, what is going on? I still have lipstick on. I almost always take my lipstick off before a meal just because I don't want that like mess. Anyways. Um, Socially conscious, I always like to include this in, in a review or, or, or when I'm thinking about buying from a product, it does matter to me and it does factor into my decisions. But according to Urban Decay, they are a cruelty-free company, Leaping Bunny and PETA certified, and this specific product is vegan. The price point is $25. That puts it slightly above my preferred $20 for mid-level brands or under price point. But as prices and economy right now are a little bit all over the place, the $25 may be the new normal for mid-level brands. Um, I checked on Ulta and most brands seem to be holding steady at 20 but I did notice a few price increases. And then at Sephora where these can be purchased, $25 was the lower than average actually. Comfort level. These may actually be the most comfortable liquid lipstick in my collection. I have quite a few formulations I really enjoy wearing and this is gonna be one of them. Um, it takes a few minutes to dry down. Like we said, I don't know, we, we might be, we're pretty dry now, yeah, we're pretty dry. Um, but it, it does have just this little tiny bit of stick to it. It's whatever is keeping it shiny. I think it's uh, sunflower oil to be honest, but it isn't super sticky. It's just sticky enough to kind of keep it flexible and give it a little bit of shine, keep it shiny. It makes it really comfortable. When I would take a drink, like I showed you earlier, it's just leaving, it's not leaving a lot of color, but you're getting a little bit of shine on the, on the cup, but as if I had on like a colorless lip balm. I wore this formula for six days in a row now, this is seven, and my lips were not irritated or dried out at all from wearing it. And that, uh, that is really impressive because that's not something I can say for lipstick in general. The uniqueness, I do believe that the Urban Decay Lip Balm formulation should be unique in the way that it performs based on other products in my collection and that I have had the opportunity to test. However, I did put the ingredients in the Google machines and what happens, there's another gem that is also made by L'Oreal that also has to be shaken for five seconds, also in a square tube. It's for $12 at the drugstore. I've not tried the other product. It's from Maybelline. It's the Maybelline vinyl. I'll put a picture of it or something, but I am curious to how similar it will be. By looking at the fully ingredient list, there were lots of similarities. And I thought for a minute, based on like the top 10 ingredients, I thought, oh gosh, these are gonna be exactly the same. But eventually I did see the typical pattern that we do know to be true about higher end companies that also own drugstore brands. And that is, although there are some major similarities in the formulations, it does look like the Maybelline formulation, the drugstore formulation may be diluted with extra ingredients and fillers where the Urban Decay formulation seems to be more straightforward, probably more expensive to make. I have nothing to confirm those statements other than just me like looking at it and kind of guessing. So those aren't, those aren't something to quote me on. Okay. I have added the Urban Decay Vice lip balm to my personal Excel sheet. I will link it below. It scored a, it scored nine points, which is the highest that any others have scored as well. No product has ever received the perfect 10 just yet. Um, for this product, it was the $25 price point. Had it been $20, it would have made the perfect 10. So Sorry. So that was a really fun product for me to test out. Let me know if you have tried this or the Maybelline version. Um, that's all for today and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.
I would name this one against my better judgment.